half a busy street in this bustling city lies a hidden treasure, a dizzying array of dazzling art by contemporary masters, literally hiding in plain sight. Feast your eyes on the art collection of Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. In this hallway alone, we have Sam Francis, we have Raymond Pettibone, Ellsworth Kelly, Robert Rauschenberg, Klaus Oldenburg, uh, Frank Stella, David Hockney. Uh, just to name John T. Right. Lang is curator of the collection, one of the most extensive in Los Angeles. So this is kind of LA's little secret. A little bit, yeah. A, a fun little secret. And this is throughout the hospital? It's, it's everywhere. We try to put together little exhibitions like this that could be an entire waiting area, it could be half of a wing. It's a lot, a lot of wall space, so it's, we're talking thousands and thousands of pieces. Jasper Johns, Roy Lichtenstein, Yakov Agam, Andy Warhol, George Harrell Photography, sculptures by Woods Davy. It's a fantastic collection and I would certainly think you know any artist would love to have their their work uh, in this collection. We're trying to create a, an environment conducive to healing so all of the work that's on the walls is for the patients, for the visitors, for the staff. Uh, the idea is to, to give them a, a pleasant distraction to uplift their spirit. And it does, it helps you. It, it helps works. Yeah it's working, yeah. So you've been in the hospital how long? Uh, approximately two months already. So you've We bumped into Emily Talamantes, strolling the hospital's oh, halls yes. as though in a gallery. Turning that corner is like walking in a museum for me. She had been diagnosed with Addison's disease and found comfort in a series of photographs by Lee Weiner of President John F. Kennedy, who had also suffered from Addison's. I imagine what he's thinking by just his expressions and that completely took me out of all of this for that moment and that to me is a process of healing and it made me feel really good. Joanna Kerbishley was raced to Cedars with a brain aneurysm. It's amazing to see walls in somewhere like this. She was in a coma for six weeks. It really helps me to exercise because I want to explore the hospital more and more and see more of the heart. What would be a nicer thing than, than to have that type of artistic expression as your measure of how far uh, you can walk? Surgeon-in-Chief Dr. Bruce Gewertz yeah, so yeah, says artwork this, this and side? doctor's work complement each other. It's sort of similar to if you and I were sitting out on a, um, a porch uh, looking out over a beautiful you know, a bucolic scene with a cup of coffee in our hands, our pulse rate's going to drop. The benefits of these uh, fine pieces of art that we're fortunate enough to have extend to everyone, and in most unexpected ways. Exactly what contemporary art collectors and philanthropists, Marcia and Frederick Weissman, envisioned when they started this collection almost 50 years ago. Their portraits by Warhol greet you in the main lobby. In the mid-60s, Frederick had a head injury. Uh, he landed at Cedar sinai He was forgetting names, was having trouble speaking and everything. And one day, she brought in a Jackson Pollock, a very small Pollock, to his bedside. And he pointed at it and said, Pollock. He made a connection with the artwork. And that's how this grand collection began. They gave hundreds of pieces from their own art collection. They went around the city and spoke to artists, art collectors, gallery owners. They spoke to everybody and got everyone to donate artwork from their collections. A grand tradition of giving that thrives today. Every piece here was donated. I gave birth in the hospital. Uh, and, and so that's our, our hospital, really. Susan and Leonard Nimoy are passionate collectors of contemporary art. It's art of our time, art of our, our period, our culture. They donated a sculpture and this painting to Cedars. So I called them on the phone, and they were not, oh yeah, bring it over. They wanted to see a JPEG of it. They wanted its provenance. Uh, they wanted to discuss it amongst themselves. Um, it's not a place to dump art. No. They're very particular. 
Well, and, and with, with good reason. Art critic Hunter Drohoyoska Philp wrote the book on L.A.'s contemporary art scene that burst into the world's consciousness in the 1960s. They're not sort of seascapes or landscapes. These are, uh, they might be uh, etchings that David Hockney did while he was traveling. It might be a word painting by Ed Ruscha. It is museum quality artwork in a hospital. Which makes it all the more interesting that this hospital has chosen to focus on contemporary art, which, mm -hmm. as you're saying, it's kind of challenging. It makes you think. It makes you question. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great thing in a hospital. Hospitals are supposed to be sterile physically, but not necessarily emotionally or intellectually. They don't have to be. At Cedars-Sinai Medical Center, even the walls are therapeutic.